Hey everybody, welcome back after five long weeks to creating interactive TikTok live games and publishing them to Android and iOS. I know, I know I've been as scarce as a unicorn at a tea party, and for that I genuinely apologize. But guess what? I come bearing immense gratitude for your unwavering support on my channel. Seriously, I never thought my little corner of the internet would gather so many awesome subscribers like you. As a big thank you for crossing the 250 subscriber milestone, I'm doing something super cool, a free access giveaway to my game. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and drop a comment below telling me which game you'd like to snag. The lucky winner, chosen at random, will be unveiled in our next video. So stick around and let's dive into today's video shenanigans. One more time. Now let's talk about the game that absolutely dominated your suggestions. Be the King. Picture this, a 3D hill, complete with a majestic castle at the summit, and a formidable boss guarding the crown. Your audience can join in the fun by creating cubes adorned with their profile pictures while interacting with the stream. The one who successfully navigates through spikes and dodges those unpredictable shooting cannons without biting the dust becomes the undisputed king of the hill. So, with that incredible concept in mind, I geared up to create some stunning 3D models. But then reality slapped me in the face. I am really bad at creating 3D models. What the hell? Oh my god! But hey, what's a determined content creator to do when faced with a challenge? You got it, folks. I dived into YouTube tutorials, ready to transform into a 3D modeling wizard. Nah, just kidding. Who's got time for that? Instead, I took a trip to Fiverr, shelled out 50 bucks, and magically, after a mere two weeks, I received a stunning 3D scene. Shout out to the talented artist who made it happen. You rock. With my 3D masterpiece in hand, it was time to dive into the game development. First up, coding the cube creation, and boy, did that take me on a wild ride. Three entire days of coding, and why you ask? All because of one tiny infuriating mistake I made. But hey, it's all part of the game development fun, right? I also threw in some completely random spikes for good measure that randomly shoot out of the ground. Bam. Now, I have to admit, the game looked a bit rough around the edges. So I added post-processing. But then, I realized that the scene looked different on various screen sizes. Oops. To fix that, I hastily set up an editor where you can tweak the view, zoom in and out, and even change the boss's profile picture placement before going live. Now you can truly make the game your own. And guess what? Because I fell in love with the whole idea of scene editing, I quickly sprinkled this feature into all of my games. It's all about giving you the power to create your gaming universe. With the graphics nailed down, I tackled the final frontier. Sound. Q sounds like someone's gulping down milk. These are the sounds I decided to use. The main music. Cannon shooting sound. VIP sound. King sound. How do you like them? I added some other tiny details that you'll probably never even notice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at the piece de resistance, the testing phase. But before we dive into the best part of the video, make sure you've subscribed, smashed that like button, and commented below with your game choice for a chance at winning free access. But let's get started with the first test, because I actually never tested it with my own stream, so it could also totally flop. After setting up all the TikTok live things and preparing me for the stream, after three weeks of hard working, 
I could finally test the game. Now it's three hours later, the stream just ran three hours non-stop here, are the stats. As you can see, in the first 10 minutes, I only had 10 to 20 viewers, and also just got a few gifts. But then suddenly, a ray of hope. For some reason, my stream started after exactly 25 minutes, reaching an incredible number of viewers, and lots of gifts too. The total. After exactly 180 minutes of streaming my interactive live game was able to reach a total audience of 12,000 views, the stream made me over 1,100 new followers, and in gifts, I made 9,302 diamonds. Just to make it clear, 9,302 diamonds is equivalent to around $90. It's just incredible how much money you can make these days with only a PC or a phone. But please remember, that's not the norm, you can also earn less. Now that I have this game done, I am going to publish my game to Android and iOS. I have a lot of other games planned, but because you guys really want to use my app, I will publish them first and then add more games. So in the next video, I will show the progress of publishing the app.